Josh? Josh? Are you sleeping? Hello? Oh, right. You guys are going to have to help me here. We're going to have to shout as loud as we can. Half term is over! To try and wake Josh up. I think he still, like, thinks he's on holiday. So, after three, we're going to say together, half term is over. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Half term is over! Oh, hello. Hello, ah. everyone. Yeah, Josh, half term is over. It's time to get back into our digital assemblies. Assembly? Assembly! Oh, no! Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Five minutes later. Ah. <laughs> I'm back. I am here. I am ready. I'm here. And welcome back to our digital assemblies. <sighs> So, at the end of last term, we didn't reveal to you our new theme for our mini digital assemblies. We, we did, did not. No, that's not very good, is it? Whoopsie. Oh dear. So, instead of just telling you what the new one is, we would thought we'd make it into a little bit of a game today. Yes, why not? So, to guess the theme today is what you guys are going to have to do, okay? Ah. So, we're going to give you three clues, and you're going to have to see if you can think of what you think the theme might be for this next half term. So clue number one. Clue number one. There is a special day in February that people often choose to show others this. Ooh, interesting, mm. interesting. Mm. Okay, clue number two. You often associate this thing with the color red or pink. Ooh, interesting. And clue number three. When you think of this word, so we've narrowed it down, this word, you can often associate it with hearts. Ooh, interesting. Mm -hmm. How very cryptic. Well, mm, I, won I wonder if you have an idea in your head. Have you got it in your head what you think the theme is? Okay, <gasps> have you had a guess? Well, if you said love, then you would have been right because that is what we are going to be looking at for the next half term. Nice. So we're going to be talking a little bit about love today, so okay, delving a little bit more into it. And so I thought we could start off by thinking about a song, Ooh, a song. okay, that is about love. It was released in 1986 oh, by Sandy Patty and Jesse Dixon. And this song at that time became very popular. Mm. Uh, and the name of the song was Love in Any Language. Ooh. Now I wonder, can you say I love you in different languages? Intriguing. Well, we thought this morning that we would have a bit of fun. Why not? We, Josh and I, are going to say the words I love you in a different language. And we will give you two options. And you have to pick which language you think it is. Okay, so first one, uh -huh. all right. Go for it, Josh. Is Ich liebe dich. Okay, Ooh. so can you say that after three? One, two, three. Ich liebe dich. Nice. Okay, so do you think that that is Danish or German? Okay, mm. it's either Danish or German. Have a think what you think it is. Oh. Okay, well, if you guessed okay. German, then you would be right. That is how to say I love you in German. Brilliant. The next one is Je t'aime. Ooh. This one's a little bit more complicated to say. So say it after me. Je. Je. Tem. Tem. Nice. Good job, everyone. Thank you. I think I did very well. Yes, yeah. you did. Mm. Brilliant. Je tem. Now, what language do you think this is? Is it Swedish or is it French? Ooh. Mm. What do we think? What Indeed. Do we think? Mm. Well, if you thought that it was French, you would be correct. Well done. Okay. Well, we're learning lots today. Okay, last sure one. Are. So, if I was to say... <gasps> Te amo. Oh, te I wonder amo. what lang language I would be speaking. Okay, so you can say it with me after three. One, two, three. Te, te amo. amo. Okay, that's a pretty good one, isn't it? Okay, okay. but is it <gasps> Spanish or Portuguese? Ooh, okay. they are very similar. They are slightly similar, aren't oh, they? They're two trickier. countries that are close together as well, so who knows? Is it Spanish or Portuguese? What do you think? 
Okay, have a think in your head, and if you thought it was Spanish, then you would be right. So, well done. Okay, and I think we've learned a few more languages well, a few of how to words. say mm. I love you in other languages. Yes. Yeah, well done. Now, I have another one, but it's, it's a form of language, but you don't speak it. It's sign language. So to say I love you in sign language, you do this. Yeah, there you nice. go. So if you pop your hand up with your thumb and fingers like this, and then you tilt it to the side, that's saying I love you in sign language. So there you go. You've now learnt another way of saying I love you. Okay, very good. Yes. And it, it's pretty easy to say I love you, especially when you're saying it in the language that you speak. Like English. But you know, <laughs> it's sometimes a lot harder to show that you love someone by your actions. And that is what our Bible story is all about today. Oh, brilliant. So, after Jesus was raised from the dead, he appeared to his disciples several times, just a few. On the third time that Jesus appeared to his disciples, he was with them on a shore by the Sea of Galilee. He turned to Peter, his disciple, and said to him, Peter, do you love me? Now, Peter, of course, being the big disciple man that he was, mm -hmm. said, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Then Jesus said to Peter, Feed my lambs. Mm. Hmm. Jesus asked Peter again, Do you love me? And again, Peter answered, Yes, Lord, I love you. And Jesus said to him, Take care of my sheep. Mm. A third time, Jesus asked Peter, Do mm. you love me? Now Peter was very sad that Jesus had asked him this question again and again. But he answered Jesus again, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. And Jesus said, feed my sheep. Hmm. So lots of sheep and lambs. But why did <laughs> Jesus ask that, that so que times. question to Peter yeah. so many times? Absolutely. I think he wanted Peter to understand, and he wanted you and me to understand, mm. that it isn't always enough just to say, I love you, though we have to show our love to people in our actions and how we care for people as well. Because of course, when Jesus said, care for my sheep, he wasn't talking about his actual sheep that he had in the backyard. No. He was, of course, talking about his people, the people whom he loved, which, of course, was everyone in the world, mm. okay? So he was saying to Peter, if you love me, show that you love me by caring for all those around you, Very okay? Cool. And that's the same thing that he says to us as well. Mm. So, in order to love one another, we can say that we love you, and it's really great to do so, yes. but it's really important as well to show each other that we love each other by caring for each other. So showing that you love and care for someone can be through actions as well as words, as we've now found out. So your activity for today Ooh. is going to be along that vein, okay? So you're going to have to try and think of five ways that you can show love to someone through your actions. Five ways, one for each finger on your hand and your thumb. Uh, so that's what your challenge is for today. Yes. And remember, this doesn't have to be a way to show romantic love, but also a way to show love to your friends or to just show love and care to everyone, to those around you. So have a think and see if you can think of five ways to show love. Five ways. Nice. Yes, that's right. Mm. So, and as a bit of an extra challenge this week, we thought it might be fun as if you'd like to, you can pick one of those five things that you've thought of Okay, to try for yourself this week to see if you can try that to show some love to someone this week. Okay, so give that a go and see if you can show a bit of, share a bit of love this week. And Wonderful. I think that will be lovely. I think that's a great way to start our theme of love yes. as we start back after the half term. Yes, so thank you so much for joining us for another week, our first week back after half term of our digital assemblies. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you again very shortly next week for next week's assembly on the telly. We'll see you then. Bye! Bye.